something like this. Okay. What's your name? David Anderson. David Anderson. David. Listen, what do you think? You, you uh, you, do you have ADHD? Do I have what? ADHD, attention deficit, no. hyper, I do. Yeah. I mean, you're a man, man of all trades. Yeah. You can do mechanic, and your business, you run your business for six months. Yeah. So you're, you're full, full of energy. Quit smoking, quit smoking, you'll be, you'll, you'll be better. I know that. So, before you came in here, and after, it's been what? Three hours, four hours? See, you wiggle on, on your seat there, you were getting a little bit, you know, frust frustrated. What do you think? I get antsy, I gotta get moving, I can't yeah. sit. Anymore. So you have ADHD? Well, not really, but a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep moving. Yeah, exactly. So, what do you make about all this? Let's... Is it what you expected? Yeah, exactly. Is what it? I expected. Yeah. It's, and I wish I was better prepared, but I couldn't hire a lawyer. Like I'm not a kitty line, so I haven't got hundreds of thousands of dollars. I have to pay for this today. And it, you know, the first thing I had to pay for, you know, was fifteen hundred dollars. I had to pay for this day. Is that what you had it's to out pay? Out of my pocket. Is that what you had to pay? Yeah. So then, all of a sudden, you put a lawyer on top of that, three hundred dollars an hour. I couldn't, I couldn't swing it. I'm just a new company. The company has a certain budget Six for it. Six months, yeah. yeah. And you know, I may have to wait and say, okay, if I don't get it this time, next time, I'll get a lawyer. I'll, I'll go full fledged on it next time, but I'll have a lot more money to be able to do this. I'll set. This is just a learning experience. If I get it, great. If I don't, I've learned a pile, and I'll get it next time. Hey, lawyer, the lawyer freaking your bus line. My God. I told him, I said, holy Jesus, I'm with the mutters, the mutters and batters. I told the mutters, let's go home. Hey, God, he did his homework. He's a lawyer. Eh? Yeah. That's what you need. Yes, what? Yeah, yes, no, but there's the point of being, you know, you have to, you have to sympathize with the mothers. I agree 100% oh, yeah, they yeah. shouldn't be in the school systems, the buses, because they're not monitored, they're not inspected, just anybody can hop in it. There's no procedures, no yeah. systems. They absolutely should be out of the school system. I agree with that a thousand percent. I wouldn't want my child in one. No. Because I know that, well, I've been to, I've been to school and they sit there with ball tires on them, they don't move for six months. Like, do you really want to get in it? No. No. But under motor carrier, it's not the same. It's just not. It's two different things. And I, and I applaud them for doing what they're doing. They're making changes. They're making things happen. You know, I'd love to see them go after the province and make their restrictions even. They're not going to stop the 15 passenger van. That's simple as that. They're not going to stop it. But they need to regulate it a lot more than, than it is. You know, add more and more and more and more and more to it. Like, even ours are 04. We want to want to get rid of that one um, because there is better systems out there than four vans. Like, I'd like to get the fleet up to 2008 so I have this side curtain airbag. Like, maybe they should regulate it to have, you know, no, you can't use a motor carrier 2007 or older. You know, they, they can come up with little regulations like that. Nova Scotia changes theirs all the time. So. What do you expect in the second half? I have no idea. Smoke more cigarettes? Oh, they won't let me outside. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you.